That's a good sand, and that's a good what you use it for concrete. It's all you know. You've got two millimeters and be one and a half, one millimeter, half a millimeter. It's all really good graded sand. You put the weed mat down, and it's pinned down to the ground. Uh, that way, once you put the mud on it, uh, you're not going to get when you're lifting the brick up. You're not picking up dirt. It's a really smooth surface. It makes it a lot easier when you're stacking the bricks on a pallet. You don't have, you know, different sizes. So we put the weed mat down, and we, each runway has got 500 bricks, and which takes two mixes. And so the 500 bricks we can actually pour in probably an hour and a half. And so we'd leave the bricks, you know, the mud in the in the moulds for um, probably 24 hours, depending on the day, and then. Once they've shrank a little bit, we can uh, go over each end, we'll pick that mould up and put it on the next, next runway. So then we can do the, and so we do the next runway here. We could do the next runway over there as well. There's another area up the top, so I had three areas we could keep on going. So I think I have about 2,000 moulds here. Sit there for uh, a week after they've been stripped, then we tilt them up. And you look over here, you see all these bricks here have been tilted up. Then we come along with a, a forklift with a pallet on it and it comes down between the runways and you can stack them from both sides. If you were to build a mud brick house that size, I'd, cost, I'd charge you $12,000 for the bricks. So there's all your walls. So you're not buying your framework, your gyp rock. If, you if you're handy and you can lay the bricks yourself, which most people can, you know, you got a little bit of knowledge, background. Um, it becomes a cheap house. But once you start getting other people coming in to lay the bricks and that, that's where the, it's more of a labour content, you save a lot of money because of um, you're saving a lot of money because you're not having to buy all the materials. So that's just a, a, a metal roof. You can have a tile roof. You could have yeah, it's, there's no problems on, on the roofs. If you're pretty handy, if you lay all the bricks yourself, you're gonna have a really